didn't really know this at first and oh my goodness I'm kind of embarrassed to say because I'm like maybe I should have known but that's why I'm going to school okay Welcome everybody so if you have seen any of the videos on my channel you know that I have a background in nursing so seminary school is something completely different and I did not know where to start I knew that when I started I needed to start with research but like what do you even look up and there just weren't many videos that I could find about it and so I want to put that information out there for anyone else who may be looking like what should you look up? What should you be doing? How should you prepare? All the things. So this video specifically will be about researching. What did I research and how did I choose my school? So I want you all to pause right now. Go ahead and click subscribe. It helps me. It helps you because you don't miss a video. I post like faith, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, all of that to my channel. So if you don't want to miss out, go ahead and click the subscribe button below right now okay you did it all right so now I will be describing the things that I looked up and they're going to be in no particular order because you know some of them are extremely important some of them were like I could swing either way but all of them held some type of importance to me so I'm gonna go over all of them in order all right. so where did I even start I didn't know anybody personally that went to seminary school there are no preachers in my family. There are prayer warriors in my family who don't miss Sunday. Um, but I didn't have anybody to ask like, hey, what do you think about this school or that school? And how did you choose? So I pretty much just started with Google. I started with Google and I Googled seminary schools in the United States. I actually think I Googled top seminary or best seminary schools in the United States. So I googled this list of schools came up and there were tons of lists and you kind of just have to look into each site which site is reputable and there are ways to figure that out. Is it a .com, .edu, .org or is it like some crazy ending um, of a site that's not really reputable and then also there are sites with like tons of ads on them asking you to put your email in to sign up for this or that or your chance to win something. Those aren't reputable either and you could just tell by the way that things were written whether someone paid to have their school listed on the site but I just looked at tons of lists and the ones that I found, the schools that I found that continue to repeat themselves on the list, I looked into those and I'm like, why are they on this list? Do they have high graduation rates? Do they have um, high rates of people finding jobs in ministry after they graduate? Are people saying that they're satisfied with the education? How are the professors at the school? And so you kind of want to know like, why are you on this list anyways? And are the reasons that you're on this list important to me? And so that kind of helps you with your search too, because it's like, oh, they made it to this list because of this, 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 and this. Like, is that important to me or not? Should I look further into that or not? So that kind of helps you start your journey as well. So I started with list, and then I just started looking up like, who went to this school? What are people saying on blog sites? Like it's it's crazy to even say because everyone's gonna have a different opinion on anything, but you can find things like whether there's Reddits, whether there are um, just blogs of former students um, or whether there are prominent leaders in ministry right now who went to certain schools like would they recommend it what are they saying about the university are they endorsing the university are they going back to give back and to teach or did they have absolutely nothing to do with it <laughs> um things like that um those are good places to kind of start and to get your feet wet see like you know is this university one that would be fitting for me and do people even like it after they've received an education there or are people transferring are they dropping out are they not finding jobs so yeah, that's kind of where I started and that's how I narrowed down my list. Now, after you have a list of schools, you're going to research more things. Like you're going to look into even more details to see, okay, I have this list now. How do I pick just one um, or multiple, apply to multiple and see what happens. But yeah, so I actually, I, I chose one and some more things that I looked into was diversity. Diversity was huge for me huge I didn't want to go to a school where I felt like I was an outlier I wasn't accepted um and I was just like a check coming in like we want your tuition but we don't necessarily support you um so I wanted the numbers at the school to reflect a support of someone like me a woman a minority you know what I mean um there were some schools like there was a school that I looked at that was like like two percent of the student body was African-American there were like less than 10 percent um of the students were women and there are some schools 
if you're a lady, if you're a woman watching this video, there are some schools that still do not support um, women in leadership positions in ministry and women teaching. And I mean, that's very common. I'm from the South. So that's still a very common belief, unfortunately. And so I didn't want to go to a school that thought that because then it's like, why am I paying you? Why am I giving you know, my money, my hard earned money to you when you don't believe in me. And so I, I, it just didn't make sense. So I was like, no, I don't want to go to a school like that. So I found a school that reflects what I wanted it to reflect. You know, um, I found a school where there's a very high percentage of female attendees and there's also a high percentage of minorities. And that just means the world to me. Like I want to go somewhere where it's like, I belong here you know um, that's really important to me so yeah I, I chose based off of that that's one thing another important factor to me was tuition can I even afford to go to this place you know um, if the tuition is outlandishly high I'm gonna pray I'm gonna ask family members I'm gonna ask my church I'm gonna do whatever I have to do but if it's outlandishly high and there's a school that teaches a comparable um, that gives you a comparable education why not just go to that comparable school? It wasn't important to me where I was like, I just have to go to this Ivy League associated school. Um, I have to go to this certain school because of the name of the school. Like I'm not going to the school for the name. I'm going to the school for the education and I'm going to the school to dive deeper into my relationship and my knowledge of God and his word. And so that was more important to me than anything else. So, you know, if there was a tuition rate that was like crazy outlandish, I was like, I, I can't even go here. I can't even do it because I'm going to be moving to a new city. That's expensive within itself. Um, I'm going to be starting over somewhere else and I don't know how, you know, how much I'm going to be able to work. And so I can't be like working my fingers to the bones, like trying to pay all my bills and trying to pay my tuition payments and, you know, signing up for all these loans and going into a ton of debt when I can get that same education somewhere else um, or a similar education somewhere else. And so definitely look at the tuition. Can you afford to go? Do they have scholarships available? The school that I found, there were tons of scholarship opportunities, which was great. Great, great, great. I actually got like 75% of my schooling covered with the promise of potentially getting more covered as well. And so I thought, I'm like, okay, you have me, it's sold. Like, I love it. The land of opportunity. So um, that makes schools stand out to you. Are there any opportunities for scholarships? There are some schools that are associated with specific denominations that if your church is in that denomination, they will knock some money off for you as well. And speaking of denominations, what denomination does the school represent? Um, that's also important, especially if, you know, you were raised in a certain denomination and that's something that you want to practice whenever you graduate from school and you feel really attached to that denomination. And so um, you want to learn under that denomination. And um, yeah, if that's just something that's really important to you, look into the denomination of the school because different schools withhold and uphold different denominations and uh, for me that wasn't important i was raised baptist in the south so in southern baptist churches my whole life but i started traveling for work and moving around and i've seen you know different churches and uh, like i went to church for instance like in berkeley california and i mean that was different it was it was really different <laughs> it was different and i loved it i absolutely loved it and so for me, uh, the denomination wasn't important. I actually am attending a non-denominational school and I think it will just like broaden the things that are represented to me and I'm, I'm cool with that. So, but if denomination is something that is important to you, make sure you look that up about schools because you don't want to be applying to like Presbyterian schools if you are Baptist or, you know, whatever your denomination may be. So yeah, if, if that's something that's important to you, you want to make sure that that aligns before you start paying application fees and all of the things. Something outside of denomination that's also important, which I didn't really know this at first. And oh my goodness, I'm kind of embarrassed to say because I'm like, maybe I should have known. But that's why I'm going to school, okay? Uh, different schools support different theologies there are so many different theologies there are tons um and so you want to make sure that the school that you go to aligns with your theological beliefs or that you can um how do i say this <laughs> that you can like eat the meat and spit out the bones so you feel like 
your belief system is strong enough for you to go in school and to glean what you need to from professors and kind of spit out what you don't necessarily want to um, replicate whenever you graduate, which I feel like is a it would be a thing for um, anybody because you know, you're not going to go to school and become a mirror of everyone. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that's, that's not what's going to happen. Like, you're going to form your own beliefs while you're in school. You're just going to kind of like dive even deeper into the word of God and dive deeper into like how to study and things like that. And so it's not to just like go to school and become a clone of everyone else. Uh, but yeah, like that's important to look up as well because just like a denomination, I mean, even more important, I feel like is uh, like theology. And so um, my school, when I filled out my application, they sent me or they didn't even send me when I was filling out my application, I had to go through like this list of things and whether or not I supported and whether or not I believed in everything on that list. And it was a long list. Um, <laughs> and so based on that, I was like, okay, either I can be aligned with this belief system or I'm not and everything that was listed I'm like yeah okay this is fine for me and so um that's important for you to know about the um, school that you're attending as well another thing which degrees does the institution offer which sounds a little bit crazy but it's not I have heard stories of people going to like traditional universities and just assuming that a certain degree would be offered because it's a kind of common degree and then finding out that the degree wasn't even at that university. So look up your institution. I mean, go ham on their website. Look at everything that they're representing, um, that they're presenting on the website because they think that it's important enough to put it on there. So, you know, go through all of that stuff and degrees will be one of the things that is listed. And there are like 18 different degrees at the school that I'm attending, which I'm so grateful for. I even like, I went back and forth between two at the beginning, but um, make sure that even if you have like no idea what you want to do after school, because I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, I know that I want to continue leading and teaching women. I want to continue doing Bible studies, but like, what does my role in ministry look like? I'm not really sure, but I know what's important to me. And that is teaching women the word of God. And so for me, um, women and youth really. Um, so for me, it was like, I know that I want to get a degree in Christian education. Um, there are certain roles in the church that I know that I'm not called to. And so I was like, these degrees kind of fit that certain role. And I know like, that's not what I'm going to be doing. So I kind of use a process of elimination, like, okay, well, I know that I want, I don't want this, this or that degree, or at least not yet to, you know, you never know what God can do in the, in your future. But yeah, I was like, okay, I know that Christian education is something that's important to me. And that's kind of what I see myself doing. And I know that I can expand upon it. And also talk to your advisors. They're great, especially in the researching process. Like they helped me so much. And so like talk to them and see like what they think about certain things and tell them your goals in ministry, tell them whatever you think and whatever is important to you. And they kind of can help lead and guide you in that way. My advisor told me like, okay, you're in between this degree and you're in between this one. This one has a concentration in women's ministry that you can decide you want to do or not. Um, and it also can lead directly into a doctoral program if you decide to do that or not. And so that's what kind of sold me like, they are great guides, utilize them. You can even be talking to an advisor before you actually decide to dedicate yourself to a school. So they're there for your help, use them. Another thing is where is the school located? Where is it located? Is that something that's important to you? So it's kind of low on the list of importance because it's like you're going to, um, you know, serve God and learn and to grow. But if you really absolutely hate and you're absolutely miserable in cold weather, I wouldn't apply to a, a school in Alaska. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, if seasonal depression is something that you suffer from every single year, I also wouldn't apply to a school in Alaska. You know, it just, it just, find a different school. So for me, Dallas was a place like, that's where I'm going. And it was a place where like, 
I know that I could be happy. I know that I would not be miserable there. It's a large city. I love large cities. It's a growing city. It's great for young adults. It's great for minorities. And so it's a place where I was like, okay, I can see myself there. I've traveled there to actually just go to church before. I know that it's a place where I can settle down. I can plant some roots and I will be okay to be there for two years. And that leads into online programs versus doing them in person or taking the hybrid route. So you're going to want to look up whether or not the school offers whatever you feel like is best for you. If you're someone who like you just can't see yourself moving but you definitely want to go to a certain school and they don't offer an online program then you need to look up other schools. Everyone's situation is different. Like I've met people through the scholarship opportunity that I have, one of them at least, who like they have kids, they have families, and they just cannot move. And they're gonna be taking courses online or they're gonna be doing the hybrid route where like you're mainly online and you go in, um, you know, once or twice. And so that you wanna look into that. For me personally, I get distracted. I lack discipline. I'm already like going to school to be more disciplined in my studies because there's only so much you can do on your own. So I'm like, no, I have to go in person. And so that's why I kind of looked into the location and whether or not like I would actually like it wherever I was applying for school because, you know, that can kind of determine which schools you apply for as well. So I think that's it. I think that's it. But I applied for school so long ago that I cannot remember. But I mean, these things are a great place to start. And once you get started and once you start talking to your references, because you'll have to have a pastoral reference, um, once you start talking to your references and things like that, more questions can come up. I know my pastor was like super helpful with like, okay, did you look into this? Did you look into that? And I'll look up the school for you. <laughs> he was great. So yeah, things will even come up like while you're applying to different schools, like, okay, maybe I should look into this aspect or maybe I don't agree with this and I should look this up about this other school. So if I'm missing something, like uh, charge it to, to my head and not my heart, I'm sorry, I tried. But yeah, those are the main things that I remember holding a lot of importance to me, more important than anything that I'm possibly forgetting, I think. That is it for now. I will see you all soon. And do not forget to click my description box below are all of the places that you can follow me. Also, where I got this super cute blazer dress that you will see on my Instagram. If you click on my Instagram, <laughs> I will also link where I got it below. I am obsessed with the red and I love blazer dresses. If y'all follow me, you already know. Um, but yeah, so all of that will be in the description box. And don't forget, I already said, don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next video. I will see y'all soon. Bye guys.